Hi everyone, it's Tammy with Wings of Love Treasures back with another video. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Sunday and thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate all your likes and comments and subscriptions. I appreciate you all very much. Okay, we're going to look at this stuff from the last bag and I did untangle the other things that were in a big tangle. There wasn't really that much in there. Um, and today we're going to be doing a bag of friend mail from Pamela Eagle Shield. She sent me some uh, jewelry that was so sweet of her. Thank you so much, Pamela. She's a subscriber. And um, that'll be fun. I'm, I'm excited to go through it. Okay, this ring right here was B. Tiff. Now, they do make rings with diamonds in them for engagement rings. This one is glass, and this one is about $26. So, and it's stainless steel. Yeah, it's a very pretty ring. I don't know what size it was. Did we, did we, did I size this? I can't remember. Here, let me size it now. Oh. Okay, it's a six, uh, six, yeah, six. So it's very pretty. So we had that. And then this one is Rodeo Night. It, it's just the stone. I couldn't think about what it was last time, so right or night. Okay, these were sterling. Both of these were sterling. And I'm still not sure what this is. It could be jasper. Could be coral dyed. Um, these are soda light, these blue ones. And this is just glass. These, um, not really sure what these are. Still don't know. They're green. They kind of look like turquoise, but not sure. These are uh, carnelian agate, and these are quartz. So, but it's very pretty. They're both sterling. I like this one, red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this little person, I did find him. That is um, a vintage piece. K-I-S USA, little boy. I found him. It's, he's $10. He's just gold tone. And then these were sterling. These blue ones were sterling. So they're very cute. And these keep coming up tourmaline. And these were also sterling. But they keep coming up tourmaline. Very interesting earrings. And these are also uh, not glass. They are stone. But they kept coming up around the tourmaline, so I'm really not sure. So, this one has to be fixed, though. See how it has come off? Yeah, i got to fix that one. I'm going to put those back there. If I can fix it, I'll try. All right, now we can go through the stuff that was tangled. Let me just put this away. Okay. Oh, let's go look at my rings first. So this one's the turquoise y'all saw last time, and I think it's an eight or seven and a half. I'm not sure. I've had too much coffee this morning. Almost a seven. I'm going to be shaking. I know I am. This one is an agate, and that's not a chip. That's just the way the stone is. It's probably dyed agate. So, and this one is uh, nine and a quarter. And then this one, oh, this one's so pretty. This is Appetite. Yeah, these are all sterling. This is sterling. Very unique ring. Size 8. Love that one. So different. And then y'all seen this one. And it's got the little piece of turquoise in there. And this one is a 10. Okay. And then I have bracelets that we have found in um, bags. Very pretty. Okay. Let's, let me show you what was tangled, and then we'll get on with it. Okay, this one was a three-tier. This took forever to get undone. So we have a circle, a triangle, and a rectangle. All uh, gold tone, three-layer necklace. Okay. I did have two silver necklaces I put in a... In a uh, craft lock because I could not get them to undone. They were 
both three tiers and I spent about 40 minutes on them and couldn't get them undone. So they went in a craft lot and they didn't have any names or anything on them. This is a loft. This one's pretty. This is just a bar and it has uh, rhinestones in it. And this is like a brushed gold. So that one's pretty. I like that one from the loft. Very nice. Here's the chain. And it's in good condition too. Okay. And then this one had a little moon on it. Lobster claw clasp. Silver tone. Little crescent. Yeah. Little moon. Okay. And then this one was just a chain. Silver tone chain, lobster claw clasp. Yeah, it's very little. Very, very small. It's like a choker. I guess you could put a pendant on it. All right. Oh, and this one's very long. This one has seen better days. It's not in great shape. It has lobster claw clasp. Here is the chain. But uh, I think it was gold tone. See down here? It looks like it was gold tone. But now half of it's silver. And remember the stagecoach we found? It, did, it didn't go to anything? Well, I think it was the back to this one. Oh, now I got it all tangled. How did I do that? Okay, here's the stagecoach. That's the front of it. So I think it went on the back of it. See how it has little holes? Yeah, and it's got a little shoe. Mm-hmm. So, and that one's fairly long. But the chain on that one's not in good shape. Actually, the stagecoach isn't either. Okay, then we found this one, and this is acrylic, and these are metal, and it's got a barrel clasp. This one's nice. This one's in good shape, too. It just needs to be wiped down. So we have that one. Oh, this one's cute. This is just leather cording, but you can make it as long or as short as you want. And it has a little rhino on it. Yeah. These are, I think these are glass. But isn't that cute? I just love that one. Very cute. Mm-hmm. I think he's brass. Is he real brass? Yeah, I think he is. This was picking up. I think he's real brass. Oops. Okay. Very cute. Love him. Okay, then we have this long one, and it has seed beads on it. And it's just one layer of the chain. But then down at the bottom, it has three layers of green seed beads. And this is also from the loft. So that one's pretty. Pretty green color. Okay. Oh, and I like this one too. This is nice. This one is gold tone. And it has these crystals at the bottom. They're supposed to look like... Uh, Pyrite or something. Magnet. I don't know. But I like it. It's nice. Little chevrons. And it's in good shape. It didn't have a name on it. But here's the chain. And then here's the chevrons. I believe these are just acrylic. Yeah, here's the back. It's in really good shape. Okay. And then I did get the bracelet out. White House Black Market. So that was nice to be able to get the bracelet untangled. Yeah, this is a really pretty bracelet. Okay, let's get a bag out. I have them right down here. <coughs> okay, there's a bag of watches and then two bags of jewelry. So we're gonna pour the necklaces out first. And then we can look at the watches later. Okay, there's one. And here's the other one. There's all kinds of things in here. Ah, there we go. Pamela, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. This is so sweet of you. I'm so excited. Okay, here's a bracelet with rhinestones. 
Very pretty. Nice stretch. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, that's so pretty. Just needs a little wipe down. Gorgeous. Here's another bracelet. Ooh, that is cool. That looks like leather. That is cool looking. Yeah, it feels like leather too. Wow, I've never seen anything like that. Very cool. Okay, oh, I love these. Multi-stone bracelet. It's got all kinds of agates and onyx and quartz, turquoise, amethyst. Yeah, this is pretty. Very nice, great stretch. Very, very pretty. Oh, it's so cold. Okay, we have a ring. Oh, no. I think this is for your um, scarf. Yeah. Cloisonne. Very pretty. Little flower. Gorgeous. Gold tone. And that came off of something. Oh, look at these earrings. These are ceramic and silver tone. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, it didn't have a name on it. But those are really nice. Okay, I saw this earring somewhere. Here it is. Oh, these are, I like these. Little uh, squares. Oh, I'm holding the other one up. Hold on. This one, there we go. Aren't those cute? The dangle. Love them. Yeah, silver tone. Oh, we have a stretch ring. Wow, look at this stretch ring. It's brand new. Stretch ring. Yeah, lead free. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. There's rhinestones and enameling in there. That is gorgeous. Just beautiful. Wow. I might have to wear that a while. <laughs> That's too pretty. Okay, we have some more earrings. These are glass. Yeah. And look, dot and dash. Chains. That is cute. I love those. love how they dangle. Okay, we have a necklace. And these are faux pearls. This out, yeah, faux pearls, and they're peach, peach color. Oh, those are pretty. Love that color. Beautiful for the spring. Mhm. Mm you could even put a pendant on it. Wear it a little longer and put a pendant right here. That would be very pretty. Yeah. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to leave that out because we have another. Oh, this is a rosary. Look, it's a cat eye rosary with some sea beads. And on the bottom, it has a hematite. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's so nice. Somebody made it. Yeah, that's very pretty. Gorgeous. I think they took a necklace here's the bale and put it on the end very nice mm -hmm. okay okay we have another necklace this is has pink and clear rhinestones wow beautiful chain lobster claw clasp oh that's so pretty oh it's missing a stone it might have come out in the travels that happens yeah so we won't, we can see if we can find it, but oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Yeah, that's just so beautiful and sparkly. Show you close up, it's got little flowers. Very nice. And here's the chain. I don't know what you call this kind of chain with a little swirly curly cues there. And it's got a lobster called clasp. Don't know. Okay, we have another pair of earrings. Oh, these are big ones. Wow, look at these. Wowza. Those are beautiful. 
These are glass. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Here's the back. They look like they're brand new. Wow. Okay, we have a watch. We, she sent me a whole bag of watches. Oh, that's pretty. Style and Company. There's the rhinestones on the side. Beautiful face. Gorgeous band. Yeah, it probably just needs a battery. Yeah, because it, it works. I mean, it closes. That's very pretty. I love those types of watches. We have some bangles with some rhinestones. There's two of them. Very pretty. All the rhinestones are there. Nice size, too. Okay. Oh, I lost this one. Oh, these are pretty. These are lightweight, which is very nice because they're large and you wouldn't want them to be heavy. Yeah. Let's see if I can't get that one in there. There we go. Oh, these are pink acrylic. Oh, those are so pretty. Yeah. Very long. Nice. Okay, we have, oh look, another pair of earrings. Look at these. Wow, they're so wild. Such nice earrings. Thank you, Pamela. I think these are glass. This is glass and this is glass. Those are interesting. I don't think I've ever seen earrings like that. Okay, we have a necklace. Very long. Wood, acrylic, gold tone, and it says Chico's. Awesome. Chico's necklace. Very nice, very long. So these are wood, and then the stones are acrylic. Yeah, very cool. Love it. Okay. And then we have another necklace. This is gold tone and it has a pendant on the end. Oh, look, these are acrylic. It has little gold tone dangles. This is a beautiful chain. Look at this chain. It's a huge box chain. And it's old. Look at the clasp. Yeah, this chain, chain is vintage. Oh, Monet. Is it Monet? Yes, it's a Monet. I have it upside down, but can we see it? Yeah. I thought it was in nice shape. Monet has the prettiest chains. They really do. I just love this chain. I'm obsessed with it. Yes, I love Monet. And here's the back. Cool. Love that. Okay, then we have another one. And this is 1928 with a barrel clasp. Oh, look at this one. Wow. Look at those blue stones. That's, I think it's glass. I'm pretty sure it's glass. With the blue rhinestones, that's beautiful. Wow, just gorgeous. And here's the chain. Yeah, very, very pretty. I'm so excited. So many nice things. And then we have a uh, lobster claw clasp. I think it's gold tone, very light gold tone. And these are all acrylic. Yeah. Oh, look at the blue and the yellow together. That is beautiful. Yeah, and these are all faceted cut. Very pretty. Wow. Gorgeous. Here's the clasp. Here's the chain. And here are the pieces. That is a pretty necklace. Very unusual. Oh. oh, take from the top. Take from the top. <laughs> I'm going to get it all tangled. Oh, look at this one. Gold tone. This is uh, black enameling in there. That is beautiful. Yeah, that looks like a vintage piece. Fold over clasp. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Nope. Looks brand new, though. Wow, that is pretty. Yeah, look at this. Looks brand new. 
gorgeous. Okay. And then we have another necklace. This looks like a vintage piece. And it has faux pearls. And it's gold tone. Yeah, it's vintage. Look at the clasp. It doesn't have anything on it, though. Oh, that's pretty. How sweet. That's a very sweet necklace. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, what is this one? This is a silver tone. Oh, it's all tangled. Let's see. There we go. Okay, silver tone with a curved chain, and it's got acrylic. I mean, yeah, I think these are acrylic. Acrylic rhinestones at the bottom, and it's on a lobster claw clasp. Lobster claw, here's the chain. And I'm pretty sure these are acrylic. It might be glass. I can't tell. Okay, oh, these are beautiful. I hope all the rhinestones are on these. Yeah, these are very pretty. Wow. <clears throat> Look at those earrings. Wow. I think all the rhinestones are there. Yeah. Let's show you up close. Gorgeous. Yeah. Little flowers. Yeah, all the rhinestones are there. Nice. Okay. Oh, look at this flower. Well, look at this necklace. This goes to a necklace. Look at that. That's acrylic, and these are acrylic. It's gold tone. It's on this gold tone chain with a lobster claw clasp, and it says nothing. <laughs> There's a little hang tag, but it doesn't say anything. So let's lay this one out because it's got three tiers here. Let's see. Yeah, three tiers here. And then, see, we got three tiers here. And then you go down, and on the side here, it has three. And then it goes up into one. And on this side, it has the flower. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm hmm. Very cool. Here's the flower again. And then you go up, and you got the two acrylic balls with the three tiers. Very nice. Okay, this is just a chain, or is this for a purse? Might be a purse chain, but it doesn't have any hooks on it. Let's see if we can find a clasp. No, we can't find a clasp. So, it may be for a purse. I'm not sure. Nope, here is the clasp. So, it's a spring ring clasp. It just needs to be hooked back together. It's just a very long chain that you could probably double up. Okay, but it's in excellent condition. Yeah. Sometimes that happens in travel. They get shaken around so much. Oh, this is also a vintage piece. Huge box clasp. I mean, a box. Oh, maybe not. This uh, lobster claw clasp, box chain, and look at this one. Wow. That's pretty. Beautiful cross. Yeah, that is, that is gorgeous. Just beautiful. Nice. Mm hmm Love that chain. Very nice. Oh, I'll show you the back. It looks brand new. It doesn't have a name on it. Very nice. Okay. We have another necklace. That these are acrylic. It's got a lobster claw clasp. And this is how it goes. And these are shell. These are shell. These are uh, glass. Wood. And then these back here are acrylic. 
Oh, that's pretty. That looks like a Chico's piece, but it doesn't have the name Chico on it. Look, it's even got these little enamel pieces on, the, on them. Very nice. I love that. I love the colors together. Got green and purple and blue. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, we have another necklace. It is fairly long. These are acrylic and it's gunmetal. And it has, uh, it says MY, lobster claw clasp. And this one's fairly long too. There we go. Oops. Yeah, purple. I think they're supposed to look like stones. They're marled. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can get this one out. This, I don't want it to get tangled. Look at this piece. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. Look at it. This is gorgeous. That's just acrylic and it's got rhinestones around it. But these are all the chains. Now this came loose and we can just fix that up here. But isn't that cool? Wow. Gold tone. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Look at all these chains. And here it is. It's just acrylic. It's missing one rhinestone, but I don't think that would be a... Is it? Yeah, one rhinestone, but I don't think that'd be a problem to put back in. That is amazing. I love that. So cool. Okay, we have another necklace. And these are acrylic with a lobster claw class, gold tone. This one feels like ceramic or something. Yeah. That's very interesting, too. I like these little pieces. Very cool. Here's the top. And here's the rest of it. Very nice. Okay, we have two shell necklaces. One is purple with a lobster, I mean, a... a uh, barrel clasp. My brain goes faster than my mouth. And it's purple. And those are real shells. And then we also have, this is a blue one. Very, very light blue. You can see the blue in it. Because they dye these. Yeah. And this is real shell too. Okay. And then we have another necklace. Let's see. This sea beads wood looks like somebody made this one it doesn't have a clasp on it. it's missing the clasp these feel like real stones i don't know what they are jasper maybe not sure but i don't know if it, they were trying to make something like glass you know you put these over your neck and put the little hooks on the end so this one wasn't finished. So that'll go on a craft lot. Oh, look at these earrings. Silver tone on the outside, gold tone on the inside. They look like Brighton. They do. They don't say Brighton, but they look like Brighton with that swirl. Yeah, I'm going to have to look this one up. I, I believe these are Brightons. I'm going to look that one up. Okay, here's another necklace with the shells, very long, lobster claw clasp, three strands of shell and sea beads and silver tone. But this one, I don't like these because they, they paint them and then they chip off. So I'll put this in a craft lot, even though this chain is in very good condition, I'm going to put this one in a craft lot. I won't sell it with the paint chipping off. I just won't. Okay. Oh, look at this pen. This is a beautiful heart. Gold tone. There's no name on it, but it is beautiful. Look at the back. It's in excellent condition. That's pretty. It's heavy, too. It is substantial. Okay, we found some earrings. 
These are gold tone. This says something on it. Let me look and see what this says. Monet. These are Monet's. You know me and my Monet. Okay. I'm going to put that back there until we find the other one. This is a hair pin. Yeah, it's missing two rhinestones. I'll put that in a craft lot. Maybe somebody can fix it. Here's another earring. Oh, I like this type. Little hammered gold tone hoop. Yeah, these are nice. Okay. Oh, we have another necklace. This one is Claire's. That's what I thought it was. So this is uh, rhinestones and bead ball chain. Blue and clear. That's pretty, though. My daughter used to get all these kinds of Claire's pieces to wear for, um when she went to dances. Yeah, to go with her dresses. Okay, we have a pin, Canadian flag pin. We have a pendant. These are acrylic rhinestones with the little pieces at the bottom. Cute, there's no name on that one. Might have had a chain. I don't know. We'll see if there's an extra chain. Oh, it might have been on that chain that was broken. Yeah. Oh, you're wrong way. Okay, this is a lobster claw snake chain. And it's just like a little bar circle. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, that does that move? Yeah, that moves around. Yeah. That's cute. Gold tone. Excellent condition. Oh, see, I'm shaking. That's from the coffee. Oh, gotta stop drinking so much coffee. Okay. Oh, my goodness. It's a little penguin. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Little enamel penguin. I might save this one for somebody. I'm going to put that back there. Okay, here's a bracelet. And what does this say? Well, we'll look at it in a second. So these are acrylic. Yep, five strands. And here's, it's a box clasp. Let me see what the back says. Can we read it? Japan? I can't see it. I think it says Japan. It says Koro. This is a Koro piece. Vintage Koro. Very nice. I'm going to look that one up. Oh, we have another penguin. <laughs> look how cute he is. Okay, I'm going to save that too. I have somebody who wants enamel animals and see if she wants those. Okay, this is a lobster claw clasp. And it says, what does that say? MYM. I don't know that brand. Or MM. Looks like there's a little person in there. Okay, we'll have to look this one up. I like this. This is sea glass. I really like this one a lot. It's sea glass. Green and blue. Yeah, that's very, very pretty. Gold tone snake chain. Uh -huh. And here's the back. Okay, I'm going to look that one up because I don't know that brand. Look, we have a little girl now. We had a little boy last time. We have a little girl. I wonder if it's the same company. It is. Yes, KIS USA. Isn't that funny? We have a little boy and a little girl. I'm going to put her back there. Okay, this is tangled. Let's see if I can't get it untangled real quick and if not we'll move on i'm shaking so much i don't know if i'll be able to uh, i don't know guys okay let's just set that aside i'll work on that later okay lobster claw clasp and it's just a chain yeah which is nice to have curb chain very long okay because we had that uh piece that pendant didn't have one so, now we got a couple of chains to choose from. 
Okay, this is a vintage bracelet, but it's got a lot of wear on these pieces right here. I wonder if I could touch them up with my pen. Hey, I got that idea for those pens. I found that on Thelma Thrift's uh, show. And um, she just did a video of how she touched up a bunch of it. If y'all want to go watch that at Thelma Thrift's. Okay, it was a really good video on how she touched her jewelry up with those pins. Um, Monet. So I'm going to see if I can't fix that because this is a pretty necklace and bracelet. Yeah, I'm going to put that back there. Okay, there's something in a bag. I hate these bags. I can never get them open. <laughs> oh, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Look, it looks like turquoise. Yeah, and a pearl on silver tone. Yeah, it's silver tone. Oh, those are pretty. I like these a lot. I like when they put the pearls with the turquoise. Look how pretty those are. And that looks like real turquoise because these are, I'm pretty sure, are real. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Thank you so much, Pamela. That's so sweet. Okay, I'm going to put that back there too. And then we have, oh, I found this earring. Look, Monet. Nice. So glad I found it. Okay, here's another necklace. Oh, this one's cool. These are acrylic. And then look at the dangle. Isn't that cool? I love this one. I love boho like this. Just love it. And it has a lobster claw clasp, and it says S H S H. What's the other side say? Avon. Nice. It's an Avon piece. Cool. Yeah. I love that. Here are the dangles. They're all acrylic. Yeah. Avon. I have some Avon that looks similar to this from way back in the day. My kids bought me. Oh, look at the pretty hat. And these are like a uh, resin flower. And here's the back. Oh, it's 1928. Look, you can see the pattern on the back. This is a 1928 piece. Very pretty. Yeah. Nice. Okay, we have another bracelet, and it's gold tone, lobster claw clasp, and it has a little rhinestone, which I believe is acrylic. Yeah. So that one's pretty. We have a pin. Oh, look, it's a bus. Yeah. With the Nike swish. A Volkswagen bus with the Nike swish. Okay, this is part of a watch. So I wonder if it's part of that watch we had. I'll have to look. These are nice. Silver tone, black, acrylic, dangles. Very cute. They're very lightweight. Okay, we have, I don't know if that's an earring or a pen has writing on it and that is an s there's an s in there and there is a little rhinestone glass or something cz but there's writing on the pen let me look at it yeah there is but i can't read it Seems like it's all scratched off. Okay, I'm gonna have to test it. I can't read it. So I'll test it. All right. It does say something, I just can't read it. Okay, here's another earring. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it's got fuzz on it. It's missing a rhinestone, is it? Yep. I think it is. Okay. Oh, it looks like garnets and diamonds, but they're not. They're just probably acrylic or glass. Very pretty. Yeah. Fold over, vintage, 
bracelet. Let's see, no name on it. No, very pretty though. Okay, I've got a few things left and we got some bags. Let's see what's in the bags. Oh, it's a brooch. Oh, look how pretty that is. I think these are glass. This is pretty heavy. But that is beautiful. Love those colors. Looks like peridot and citrine. And it's not. <laughs> it's just acrylic or glass. I think they are glass. Um, and there's no name on it. Yeah. But it's very pretty. I'm going to put it back in here so it doesn't get messed up. Okay, we have a necklace with a dream catcher and feathers, silver tone on a silver tone chain with a lobster claw clasp. Yeah, that's very pretty. Very nice. And here's the back. Looks brand new. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is nice. I wonder if this is 1928. Look, it's a lady and a child. Yeah, I think it's a locket. Is it open? Yes, it does. Oh, it's got perfume in it. I wonder if it's Avon. Yeah, Avon always had these with the perfume in it. And look, it has a little clasp. So you can change it and put it on different necklaces. This chain is not in great shape. It was silver tone and now, I mean gold tone and it's turning silver tone. But the locket is adorable. Yeah. There's no name on it, so I don't know if it's Avon. Okay. We have a pendant. The cross. Very nice. Got a little crown. There's some acorns and leaves on there, too. And here's the back. Okay. Oh, here's a rhinestone earring. Let me look around. I don't see the other one right off the bat. Oh, I found this one. These are pretty. Yeah, they just need to be cleaned up a, a smidge. Oh, this one's nice. That's glass. Gold tone. Yeah, vintage fold over clasp. That's beautiful. Mm hmm. See the back? It says Monet. Of course, I love it. It's Monet. <laughs> okay, and the chain is in excellent condition. I can't believe how well these hold up. I just can't. It just amazes me. I'm going to look that one up too. Just curious. Okay, I have a chain necklace that is all chains, and it is made in China. Susan Graver. Okay, I'm going to have to look Susan Graver up. But this is the necklace. And it's red and silver tone and pink. Yeah. That's amazing. These chains feel awesome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Here's how they're uh, held together. Here is the chain. And look at this extender. So long. And lobster claw clasp. And there's her. Uh, that doesn't even have her name on it. It just says China. But the tag does. And here are the chains. Very cool. Okay, I'm going to put that back there because I'm going to look that one up. I don't think I've ever had any of her pieces. Oh, it's a butterfly. Look, it's a black enamel butterfly painted flowers on it oh how pretty gold tone that's very nice 1928 of course with a barrel clasp look how pretty that is oh that's beautiful i love it here's the chain and the butterfly again very nice Okay, we have an earring. Looks like a crown, or it goes this way, that way. With some rhinestones, gold tone. Here is a stud with a rhinestone. And then here's another necklace. 
I think it's just a chain. Yeah, just a chain. Gold tone, uh, spring ring clasp. It's a cobra chain. So these will be nice to have. Yeah. Just to have to put uh, pendants on. So that's nice to have. Okay, and then here's another necklace. And this one has a lobster claw clasp and gold tone and it has a little pendant with rhinestones uh clear rhinestones and a red rhinestone okay a little vintage necklace all righty we have a ring let's see if this has a size on it sometimes they have sizes so that's a uh, light blue stone let's see what size it is that silver tone it's a size eight it does say something in there i think it's the maker maybe avon let me look i think it says size eight and on the other side it says 925 but i don't think it is guys no i'll test it it's a pretty ring very pretty okay we'll test that one Okay, I have a bracelet with enameline, and it's the oval one too, which these are really nice. Clamper. We get a lot of these in different colors. Yeah. Okay, I got some more stuff in bags, but, oh, look at this butterfly. Silver tone with a little pink rhinestone, some, a tassel of chains with silver tone chain. Lobster claw clasp. Oh, this one's cute too. Look how cute that is. Yeah. Thank you, Pamela. She knows I like butterflies. Very nice. I'm going to leave that out. I might wear that today. I'm going out to eat. It's Sunday. I'm doing this video on Sunday. I don't normally do that, and everybody's home. So I had to make everybody be quiet while I did my video. Because I got behind this week. Those are pretty. I like those. Yeah. Those are very nice. Oh, I found this one too. Okay. Pretty. Oh, I found this one. I found this one too. So I got all these. See, that's the one other thing. They make sure when you get things friend mail, they always make sure that you have the matches. why I like getting bags from Liz. She always makes sure. And Pamela, when she sends friend mail, it's so nice. Okay. And then, oh, squiggly. This is a brooch. Yeah, no name on that one. Very interesting. Okay. Okay, we have some things in bags. We're going to open the bags. And... I did find a rhinestone. Okay, put that back there because there was a couple things missing a rhinestone. Okay, let's see. I don't want to get this tangled. This is, uh, oh, Banana Republic. Nice. Oh, look at this one. Okay, well, it is a little tangled. Let's see. Oh, it's got little, um, move this. It's got circles at the bottom. So it's three stranded and it's silver and gold tone strands and it's got all the different color uh circles little rings that's nice let me show you on a form what the bottom would look like yeah cute this the inside does it say no look it has little rhinestones inside of it that is cute thank you pamela beautiful I love Banana Republic stuff, too. It's so nice. Okay. And then this is something wooden. Looks like a pen. Yeah, it's a brooch. So we have a brooch with, oh, Winter Haven. It's got a mitten and a snowman. That's so cute. And a Christmas tree. It's a little brooch. 
Somebody must have made it. How sweet. I love that. Okay, we have three more bags. Oh, these are earrings. So these are some gold tone hoops. Very nice condition. Super, super nice. Look how pretty they are. They're like etched up. And then I'm going to put these all back in because I don't want them to get messed up. And then these look like stones, but they're just acrylic. And then these are also acrylic, black and red. Look how these sparkle. Wow. On gold tone hoops. And then these are just little uh, gunmetal, black. Yeah, look like lace. Okay. Mm -hmm. They dangle. Okay, let's put those back in. I don't want those to get messed up. All right. Now we have this one. Let's see what this is. I'm saving the best for last. I see the name on the one I'm saving. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, Pamela, you didn't. Oh, my goodness. Robert Lee Morris, guys. Soho. Wow. This is amazing. Wow. I've never seen one like this from him. This is amazing. I love this piece. This is awesome. Oh, Pamela, that's so sweet of you. That is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Wow, that's the back of it. It looks brand new. I've never seen one like this. With these pieces. Yeah. That is nice. I'm going to look this one up. I'll let y'all know what I find. That's beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, one more piece, because it still has its tag on it, which I am just flabbergasted over. I cannot believe that it still has its tag on it. Mm-hmm, look at this thing. Look, black acrylic, but it is in excellent condition. Oh my goodness. I may have to keep this one. This this is awesome. I will never take the tag off. Forty dollars down to nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, it's probably dead stock. That's amazing. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Pamela. I appreciate you so much. Okay, well, I did get through all the jewelry. I'm shocked. I got through all the bags of necklaces and earrings. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump out the watches and let y'all see some of them because I don't want to do a whole video just on the watches. And we'll just look through them because we have, still have a little time left. Okay. And we'll just look through some of them. And I'll put them off to the side. Okay. Here's a big black one. Men's watch. They probably just need batteries. Oh, look at the polka dot one. This one doesn't have a name, $4.99. The little rhinestones around it. That was so cute. <laughs> okay, and then we have White House Black Market. It's brand new. Look, it still has plastic on it with rhinestones. And this is in excellent condition. Genuine leather. See, all I need to do is wipe them down and put batteries in them. Awesome. This one is an air nut. I don't think I've ever heard of this one. Yeah, but this one's genuine leather too. It's kind of coming apart, the band. But, I mean, I could always get a new band for the watch part. Yeah. And this one's LTD. And this band is also in bad shape. But, you know, you can replace the bands as long as the face and everything's good. For about $8. Yeah. Okay. That one's cool. That one doesn't have a name, does it? Uh, no. No name on that one. I wouldn't be able to read that one. Okay. Here's another one. G-Shock. 
I don't know any about the thing about these. I know some of these, this is Casio, but I know some of these are very good and they sell very well. So I'll have to look some of these up. Okay, here's another men's watch. Wow, look at that one. That one's cool. Look at all the buttons. I wouldn't even know how to work this one. Yeah, it doesn't have a name on it, but that is interesting. Okay, we have another one. Is this Timex? No, Marathon. I don't know who it's by. Yeah, but it's still, it's running. Look, it's running. <laughs> interesting. Geneva. That one's huge. Look at that one. Black and rose gold. Okay. Here's another one, Nine West. Now this isn't real leather, but it is, the leather part is cracking. I can see on the inside. It just needs a new band because this piece is really in good shape. Okay, this one just says quartz and I don't see a name on the back, but this is like a bracelet watch. So you can open it here and close it. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay, here's another one. Oh, Fossil. I love Fossil watches. I have one from way back in the day. My, my face is blue, but it's got this big, thick band like this one. It just needs to be cleaned up. Yeah. I like this color. Very nice. Let me have to put that one aside. Get something for it. Now, this band is in bad shape. I'll probably put that in a craft lot because I can't get that out. That's just over time. The white has yellowed. Yeah. And that's an Amatron. Okay. Here is a Seiko. <gasps> a men's Seiko. I think it just needs a new band. No, the band's in good shape. Yeah, it's Spidel. Okay. Just needs a... Uh... Let me show that to my husband. It just needs a battery. My husband is a... He loves watches. He's got about 20 of them. Over the years, he has bought watches. Bert Putter? Pulitzer? I don't know. But I like that black face. That's nice. Pulitzer. Oh, I didn't know there was a Bert Pulitzer. Nice band. Really good condition. Put that one back there. Show him that one too. Studio. Oh, that one's cute. Look, it's like a little bracelet. Bracelet watch. And that's in good condition. It needs to, be, needs to be wiped down and a new battery. Yeah, that's adorable. Here's another one. Vivian, I've never heard that one. It's got crosses, a fish, and a heart. That's cute. It's like a bracelet watch. Yeah, just needs to be cleaned up a little. Here is just the watch face. It doesn't have, it has rhinestones going all the way around it. It doesn't have a name in it. Uh, just says base metal. Yeah. Okay. And that's a back to one of them. This is cracked. So I'll probably put that in a craft lot. Yeah. But this is a nice band. Very nice band. Okay. Then we have another one with rhinestones. This one doesn't have a name. And this isn't genuine leather. No. Here's another one. Oh, look. It's the it's the world. Oh, I love that. That is cool. I might get a new band for it and wear it myself. I love that. That's super cool. It's like a map. Okay, I'm putting that one back there too. This is also uh, a bracelet watch. This is real leather. Needs to be cleaned up and conditioned. And that says Turner. Very cute. I like the face. Okay. I don't know what this is. What is this, guys? LED watch. I don't know what that's for. I'll have to I want to look this one up. I'm very curious. I have no idea. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to look that one up. I'm just curious. Okay, this says Quartz Studio, another studio. And these 
it's, it's a bracelet watch. Yeah, gunmetal. And then this one is also a bracelet watch. And it says Cardini. Japan movement. Interesting. This is broken right here, though. Right there. It keeps falling down. It's supposed to be up like that. So, I don't know what that is. I want to look up that name, too. And then this one is a men's watch. Niger. I don't know that one either. This is not real leather. And this is... Oh, all scratched up. You can get new crystals for them. If they're real expensive watches, you can get a new crystal. I have a watch guy who puts new crystals in for me. National MS Society. Yes. We have a lot of people we know that have MS. It's such a terrible disease. And this is genuine leather. So this one needs a battery and just a new crystal. And I may do that up for this one. Yeah. Okay, one more, last one. This one just says quartz, but look at that. That's so pretty. It's a bracelet watch. Oh, it's missing the back. I wonder if that back went to this. Yes, that's the back to this one. Okay, I'll have to get that put on, but I'm going to put a battery in it first because I like this one. Yeah, faux tortoise, bracelet watch, very cute. Yeah, okay, I'll put that one over there. Okay, guys, that is it. Thank you so much, Pamela. I appreciate you. I loved all the jewelry you sent me. And everybody have a nice Sunday, and I will see you on the next one. Okay? Bye-bye.